Right, well here we are with a trial full assembly of this engine and I say trial, I haven't got things like the um, push rod tubes on or the oil feed to the inlet valve guide um, and obviously the head's going to have to come off again when the new valves come I'll just uh, get the valves out quickly, grind the new ones in and uh, fit them and then I can put it back together for keeps but at the moment I've got it at a point where I can put a spanner on the crankshaft and I've got um, operational valve gear and a bit of compression so we'll just um, give the engine a turn over in a moment there'll be a clicking sound when I go over full lift of either of the valves and that is basically the backlash in the timing gear and there's not a lot I can do about that actually but here we are we've got compression there now Bear with me, I'll try and not slide the engine around all over the place. It should have valve, here we are, the exhaust valves opening. And that's going over full lift. Hear that click? And we'll have the same going over full lift with the inlet. And that is the valve spring driving the cam lobe and the camshaft um, it's going from the engine timing pinion turning the camshaft to lift the valve open to the other extreme where the slop that there is between the gear teeth between the timing pinion and the camshafts is taken up and the valve spring actually once the cams go over full lift you get that click and it's the teeth of the gears uh, just tapping each other. Like I say, there's not a lot I can do about that. The gear teeth appear to be in pretty good shape and um, the cam bushes and everything are also pretty good. So it's not like we can just pop down to the shops and buy some new cams and timing pinions anyway. But there's plenty of life left in these and I'm hoping that at engine running speeds rather than just turning it over with a spanner slowly like that it might be a little bit less audible and especially when there's a bit of oil getting uh, pumped and flung around everywhere but I'm happy I've got um, just the right amount of clearance between the uh, valve lifter mechanism and the rocker when the exhaust valve is shut and uh, I can hopefully demonstrate if you can see the valve there should see it perhaps moving there's the adjuster end of the rocker lifting and there's just enough clearance that this isn't going to interfere with compression any other time except when the lever is pulled at the handlebar so uh, all looking pretty good there and like I say I've just got to wait now I believe that there's some new old stock valves on their way that I spotted last night and just mentioned to the owner and he's very kindly bought them and having them sent here so it won't be a big step backwards just to pop the head off swap the valves grind the new ones in quickly because the valve seats are already very good I've already replaced the guides as I mentioned before so we should end up with a very very good top end and even the bore and the piston to bore clearance and the bore itself and the ring gaps and everything were pretty respectable so we should end up with a pretty good engine all round I would think and I've also even had the push rod tubes treated to a blasting and a coating which isn't chrome but uh, when I fit them it's going to look pretty convincing so uh, I'm pretty happy all round with this and uh, we really are on the home straight with it now not much left to do and probably not much left to say I've also done away with the um, little rocker return springs there was only one of them there functioning and I think that one had been bodged anyway looked like someone had wrapped a load of wire around one rocker to hook a spring onto it so I've got rid of that lot um, there's obviously more modern than 1930s thinking did away with rocker return springs anyway so uh, that's no big worry and I'm sure the valve springs are strong enough to uh, shut the valves and return the rockers and push rods as they do in many and most machines that were made a little later than this so uh, we're getting near the end folks we're getting near the end